Not getting out of town on the road, then a lot of people will be heading to our airports. SFO has seen huge crowds all day long as people get their holiday weekend started a little early. Jose Martinez is at SFO where it's not just flying, but parking has also been a challenge for some. Yeah, well, I'm here at SFO and I'm not going anywhere yet, but we spent some time with some travelers who got here very early trying to get good parking spots and they didn't have any issues. Now, officials here are saying you got to be careful this weekend because things could get more complicated. So remember where we parked. Joanna Baranoa arrived at San Francisco International Airport right on time this Friday, anticipating a challenging parking situation. However, amazingly, very surprising. Yeah, like I was rushing, thinking we weren't going to make it, but we made it. She's one of thousands of people expected to use the airport parking lots today, ahead of Memorial Day weekend, one of the busiest days here at SFO. It looks slower to right now. We'll see when we get inside. In fact, by 1 o'clock, the time we walked around the parking area, we saw several empty spots and even some carts taking up two spots, making it difficult for those who would try to park here later today. Just driving into the airport, it seems normal. It doesn't seem more packed or anything. Neil Rao is another traveler who decided to try the parking lot for the first time. He also got here early. There was a, a lot of spots and honestly I'm trying it for the first time because um, sometimes when I do Uber um, out of the airport it can cost like a hundred dollars for like a 20 minute Uber ride and I'm like you know I can just see how parking is like and compare that to Uber. Doug Yakko, SFO's spokesperson, says they're ready to tackle the increase in number of travelers. As we're forecasting about 140,000 people going in and out of SFO today. We think we're going to hit that number. And actually, that's a number we've already hit a few times this month. The last Thursdays and Fridays over the past two weeks, we've been consistently hitting that 140,000 mark. And he knows when it comes to parking, people might be worried. So he has some recommendations. We've still got some capacity available, but it is possible we'll reach capacity over the course of the weekend. So we recommend travelers to either take public transit, share a ride. If they are taking a private vehicle, we recommend going to our website and booking booking their parking space in advance. This is a good way of knowing that there is still parking available before you come out for your flight. Right, and this is not over. It's just the first day of this long weekend. Officials, like we said, are expecting more people, more passengers this weekend. And just one more piece of advice. Don't be like me. Take a picture of the location where you left your car because when you return, you want to find it very, very fast. Back to you guys.